Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be kind of like a capsule wardrobe spring lookbook. Um, it's just a few pieces that are great for if you're going away for the weekend or for a couple of days um, somewhere. You can kind of mix and match the outfits. I always find that when I go sourcing or when I go clothing shopping for myself, I don't really tend to um, spend a lot of time looking for myself. I'll always be like, well, you know, if this doesn't it sell right away or whatever, I'll keep it. So a lot of the times my closet just consists of things that haven't sold in a while or things that um, I picked up and I was like, mm, maybe I shouldn't have picked that up. So now I keep it. So a lot of the times it's just things that I'm not truly excited about, but they fit my wardrobe, so might as well keep it. And this time I actually, when I went sourcing, I looked for stuff for myself and I kind of uh, found myself going more towards like neutral palettes, earthy tones, and that's normally what I like to wear a lot of the times. And I kind of feel like everything that I've picked up kind of goes well together. So without drawing this out, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Um, so I picked up three bottoms three tops, two cardigans, and a pair of shoes. And of course with the outfits, any shoes, like any shoes that I have could probably go with it, but the pair of shoes that I picked up goes with all of these outfits, so I thought that was really awesome. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the bottoms. And these first, the first thing that I picked up were these shorts, and they kind of have like the uh, rolled up bottom. Um, there's a little bit of distressing in the pocket, and these are from Seven. Uh, not seven for all mankind, but seven, uh, seven jeans or the seven brand. Um, the size is a 31 and <clears throat> they are a slim fit though. So, uh, I normally like, I have like a 30 inch waist and normally I can wear uh size eight, size six jeans, just depending on like how much stretch they have or, you know, just what, how big the waist is. Um, these are a little bit big. Um, I think these are pretty much true to size, or this might even fit someone with a 32 inch waist just because they are slim fitting. But they're really nice, and I could see myself wearing like a t shirt or something like that. Anything that I wear with these, I will definitely be tucking in. So, and at the end of this video, I'm going to show you how I. Um, put all the outfits together. So if you don't want to sit here and listen to this, um, I will put the <laughs> time down below on when the outfits actually show up. So there's those. Um, the next thing, the next bottoms that I picked up, oh gosh, it's stuck, is this white skirt from Lauren Ralph Lauren jeans. And this is a size four. So in skirts, I can wear a four or a six. And it's actually like a little bit, <clears throat> excuse me, it's like a more of a missy fit anyway. So, but it's really nice and it's just a white denim skirt. And I know I'm taking a big chance on wearing white because I do have three children. <laughs> but it's a perfect length for me. I don't really like to wear too many short things. So this is absolutely perfect for me. Um, and then the final bottoms that I picked up. Ugh, if I could just pull this out. And these are awesome. This is a Gap Boyfriend jeans and the size is 829, so a US 829. It's also a Canadian 829 and a UK 12. So this is how they look in the front. And then they're kind of cuffed at the bottom and they're sewn on that way so they don't go anywhere. This is what the back looks like. And there's just a little bit of distressing on here. And they kind of fit like really nice on the hips. So they're not too high and they're not too low. They're really comfortable as well. So those are the three bottoms. And of course I can, anything that's already in my closet, I can definitely um, use with all of those. However, I wanted to pick up pieces that would blend well together. So um, in case I go somewhere for spring break, or, you know, you transition from cold, cool mornings to, you know, warm afternoons and stuff like that. Um, so the first top that I picked up, <clears throat> excuse me, is this Apartment 9 Essentials, size medium top. 
and it does have the roll tab sleeves. And it's just this really nice um, polka dots, but they're kind of like, they, I thought they were moons at first, but they're polka dots. And they're kind of like brushed on type polka dots. They're not perfect at all. And it is a big, a looser fit type of shirt. And I like that it's an apartment nine essentials. I like that it's an essential type of top. So they're like charcoal gray type polka dots. Really comfy, really nice breathable shirt. I can wear a camisole underneath it or open it up and wear, you know, show a tank top off with that. So that was really nice. I liked that one. Um, this next shirt is not necessarily something that I would have picked up, um, like I went shopping for it. It's a Forever 21 size medium new with tags shirt. And the only reason I picked it up is because the feel of it is so comfortable. It's so nice. Um, it's rayon and the trim is cotton. So it's not necessarily like that polyester that I'm so used to finding at Forever 21. It actually feels like it'll hold up pretty well. It's not, doesn't get like super wrinkly. So that's nice. Um, it is new with tags, so I do have to be careful when I wash it. It has these awesome bell sleeves though, and that trim is just so pretty. And I do like the collar. The collar is what really got me. So you could just like hook, hook the buttons closed and that's really nice. The only problem that I saw is there's like a makeup stain on one of the shoulders and then I think there was another makeup stain. Yeah, there was like another makeup stain. So it's like somebody tried it on with makeup and they decided they didn't want it so they donated it and now it's mine. It's like a really nice kind of boho top. And then the last top, <clears throat> excuse me, that I have is this J. Crew? It's called the Perfect Shirt by J. Crew, and it's actually an extra small. And uh, it's J. Crew Factory, and it's this really nice chambray, kind of fitted shirt, and it's got these really neat polka dots. So as you can tell, my sizing, and I think I buttoned it like all wrong because it looks kind of crooked. But as you can tell, my sizing is just all over the place. Some shirts I can be a medium in, some shirts I'm a small in, an extra small. Um, I can't fit into anything that's a large without it like swallowing me. So I know I'm, I can range from an extra small to a small just depending on the brand. Um, J. Crew, I know I can fit into an extra small, small. Um, just like your generic uh, teen places or whatever, I'm like a medium, that kind of thing. So, um, but I really love this shirt. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. It's very soft. It, fits so nice up against me. So I'm definitely gonna keep this for a while. And if you don't know how to check to see how old the J. Crew item is, um, you know, if you're new to reselling, I'm gonna give you a little hint here. So here on the care tag, if it happens to have a care tag, it'll say the style number, and you can also search for the style number on the internet to find the name of the item. And then it'll say down here, um, it'll say like SP 13. So this is from spring 2013 line. So it is six years old, but it's in great condition. So I don't really mind keeping it for a while. I think it all depends also on like what, what condition something is in, you know, because this is a fantastic shirt. I'm definitely going to keep this for a long time. All right. So those are the three bottoms, three shirts. Now I'm going to show you the two cardigans that I picked up. Actually, I'm gonna show you the, no, I'm gonna show you the two cardigans that I picked up. So this first cardigan is actually a petite cardigan and I'm not sure what size it is because somebody cut out the size tag, but it's from the brand Apostrophe and it's petite. Now, it's this beautiful green color and there's like a white sticker stuck to it. Beautiful green color and the thing that really got me were these little beads, this gorgeous beadwork just perfect for spring. Goes with like any kind of white, any kind of cream, even black, blues, pastel colors, beautiful pinks. This is gorgeous beadwork. And I know it's so hard for my camera to focus, I'm so sorry. And even the buttons, the buttons are just these pretty little gems. Just gorgeous. And I'm not quite sure, again, what size this is. I'm pretty sure it's petite large, 
because it does fit pretty loose on me, but it kind of fits a little bit better than a regular large wood. So it definitely makes me feel like it's a petite large and I love it. I love this. I feel like I could just wear this all the time. I love it. I'm going to keep it on right now. All right. And the last cardigan that I got is from, um, is this, what's the brand? It's called Nick and Mo. And I'm pretty sure that it's sold at Nordstrom or Nordstrom Rack. Um, or just Nordstrom. And it's just this nice giant cardigan. It is a size large. However, I don't mind if my sweaters or cardigans are a little bit oversized because I feel like that's just kind of how they're meant to be. I don't really like my sweaters and stuff to be too tight on me because then I feel like really restricted. But this just, this little, what is it, like crochet work? Just so pretty. These gorgeous colors. And it's just that nice pop of, you know, color that uh, just brings everything else, all the creams that I got, all the, the, the blue jeans, you know, all of that, all the whites, it just brings it to light and it really makes it look like springtime for me. So I love this. Um, let's see the buttons. What are the buttons? The buttons are just these really nice, like antique looking buttons. It's trying to focus on my face all the time. No, don't focus on my face. Just beautiful. And again, I'm gonna show you at the end how I put all these outfits together. And then the last thing that I got are these shoes <laughs> from MIA. And they're these really nice uh, wedges. They got like a little espadrille wedge and they're just braided in the front. They are a size six. I do have a small foot. I can wear a size six, six and a half, but I like to wear a seven in sneakers because sometimes sneakers are a little bit uh, tighter on me. It just depends. I do have a little bit of a wider foot. So I do have tiny feet. It's really hard for me to go shoe shopping sometimes because they never have my size, but these were perfect. And these go with every single outfit that I put together and then some that I currently have in my closet. And I'm super excited. And now my camera's like, hey, let's focus on nothing <laughs> and get blurry. So that's all the stuff that I picked up to make kind of like a capsule wardrobe. I'm really looking forward to wearing some of that stuff um, during spring break when, you know, the kids are on spring break and we go places and stuff because some places they still, they like to keep, you know, indoors a little bit chilly because, you know, it's warmer outside. Um, I live on the East Coast, so currently it's cold and it's going to be cold for a while. So we don't necessarily have um, too hot of... Uh, March days and stuff but I feel like with the weather kind of teeter-tottering back and forth we're definitely going to be seeing spring a little bit uh, soon so I'm really looking forward to that I'm really looking forward to wearing all of that I also will be wearing this white shirt that I already had on hand with a lot of the um, those cardigans and the three bottoms I will keep those keep this as well with that capsule wardrobe but I didn't want to show what the white shirt and everything else look like together because I kind of feel like that's you know Capsule wardrobes always tell you like have this basic shirt have that basic shirt and some people don't know that hey You can mix and match prints and stuff like that. So um, I'm definitely going to now cut into The uh, what the outfits all look like together. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul um, Let me know if you make hauls like this or let me know what your favorite piece was. I honestly I feel like this cardigan was probably my favorite just because it's so just I don't know it's kind of fallish but also springish at the same time and it just makes me feel so good so I hope you guys are having a wonderful February and I will talk to you guys next time bye mm -hmm.